Right, so, there's two things I want to do, depends if we get to do them, um, but we'll definitely try and do, we'll definitely try and do one, and that's to, um, that's to uh, combine the assembler directives into code, so instead of having the assembler directive saying this is the easy, this is the easy game, this is the medium game, and this is the hard game, I want to make that programmatically. So we're going to have to merge all that code together to make it work. So we can then have a menu screen off the start that says easy, medium or hard and um, the user then picks um, the um, difficulty. But there's also something else I want to do and as you can see I got uh, C CPS open now this is not related to what I want to do, but it's related to the technology that I want to employ. <coughs> Went down the wrong hole. So, if I run this, you'll see what I mean. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you'll see what I mean. It is a... Was it a koala, koala, koala picture, koala? So this was something that I think it was. Pro, was it? I don't know if it was Stacy. I don't know. Someone knocked up, and I wrote the code to to in CPS to take that data and to plonk it on the screen. So, but. Look what I received in the post not long back. And I thought we could do something with it. So let me fire Vice up. And drag. Yeah, it's that. How about that for a front screen? For a front screen of the software. Monsignor Bates has knocked this up. And I thought we could try, try and um, figure out how to incorporate it. Because <laughs> I'm not too sure. I've got the bin file. But if our koala, koala files all the same, are they formatted the same? Because if they are, I've got the code in CPS, I'll just kickify it and, and do it. If not, we'll have to do a bit of we'll have to do a bit of disassembling in you right, okay, if that's the case, then we'll try and put this into into maze. Right, okay. Okay, so we'll try and put this into the maze program. So there's two things. One, try and get this working. So when you load the program up, it puts this in. And then try and do the difficulty things. So yeah, so Stacy did this and it, I thought it was pretty cool, to be honest. <laughs> he, he, his, his precise words were, his precise words were, uh, where is it? I've done a little messing. Thought you might like this. Work in progress. Use it or not. It's up to you. <laughs> I thought brilliant. I thought brilliant. So, um, yeah. Let's see if we let's see if we can get this into let's see if we can get this into um, the maze program. So this that maze works too. Oh, I've not even looked at it that closely. So this is the code that was used to make that um, that um, picture. So what we're going to try and do? We're going to try and um, 
we'll try and kickify it and put it into we'll, tr we'll convert it into kit and we'll see if we can get it running in maze so i am going to move that over here for the moment I'll move that like that. Still got your chat within striking distance. So here's the here's the maze program. So we're going to try and load that koala in. So let's create a new file and call it a game title. Right, so we'll do our standard, our standard imports. Cool, so many files open. Right, so dot name space, and we're calling this title. Right. So let's grab this. Let's grab that and we'll put that in there. Right, so as you can see, it's complaining a lot. So the first thing we'll do is we'll do a, a search and replace. Right, so, okay. <laughs> yes, yes, I can certainly look at it. Because I'm, I'm going to take a break from streaming over Christmas, so. I might look at it, might look at it. Make it, make some Python script or something. I haven't decided yet, mate, if I'm going to take a break. I have other things to do. <laughs> yes, I do have other things to do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, because I'm thinking of taking a break. Because I've finished work now. Because I've had to use all my holidays or lose them. So I've got three weeks off, effectively. And... I want to finish off the. I want to see if I can finish off the screen, uh, the the JavaScript map editor that I've been trying to write for the last God knows how long, and um, and also I want to. Hello, on orange, you all right? Yeah, I, I, the problem is. Because I've had so many um, holiday blackouts windows because of the projects I'm on. It, I, I was finding it very difficult to take holiday because it was no, you can't have, you can't, you can't take holiday. No, uh, we need you for this or we need you for that. And so I've ended up with like three weeks holiday, and and it's use or lose them. So I'm using them. <laughs> so I've got three weeks off. Go back on the. 4th of Jan, I think it works out to. Anyway, so let's convert this. So I'm going to get my... Hey, Arthur. Look, use... Look, 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 mate. Using your thing. It's not the beta, though. It's not the beta. I'm still finding issues with the beta, which Stuart is doing a mighty fine job of testing. Mighty fine. Your first full Christmas off. Yeah, I mean, I didn't get Christmas off last year because I had to work. Because... Um, we, uh, my team, my team, we we alternate we alternate Christmases. So to make sure that everybody gets a Christmas, we alternate. Yeah. So um, I, this because I worked last Christmas, I've got Christmas off. So one of the other guys is working Christmas and New Year and stuff like that. 
<laughs> you're taking a break from Stuart cracking the whip. Well, mate, you know, um, which branch are we using in Git, by the way? Is it still the kick branch? Or have you merged it now? We're still in the kick branch. Okay. Okay. I'll, um, if it's updated, I'll grab it. Hang on. Let's do a quick look. Oh, five days ago. Issue with custom colours. Oh, okay. I'll have a look at that. Yeah, five days. Five days. Uh, yeah, me... I, I, I think... Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I introduced him to bran uh, into branching. So we that's where we created the kick branch. Anyway, so um, IO IO constants. Here we go. Let's do that. Get rid of that. Come back to here. So DO11, DO11 is that. So we'll change that. DO16 is that. D D O O D D O O is that Ooh, that's gonna be problematic, isn't it? I'll do. Yeah, I'm using, I'm using, right, what you're seeing here is uh, Commodore CB, uh, CBM Prog Studio assembler format. I'm just converting it to kick. So at the moment, I'm just replacing the absolute um, memory addresses with labels. So D018 is this one oops tab that over extra data is going to be further down <laughs> you mean boo <laughs> Uh, CBM Studio, if if uh, if AJ's done his um, regex expressions right, should support namespaces, because ultimately it's the assembler that's doing the assembling. We just need. I don't know, AJ. Have you have you sorted out the pre-processing for the sprite editor and the screen editor for Kit yet? Because if you haven't, I might have a look at it. We'll have a look. I'll have a look at it if you haven't. Yeah. So if they include, let's say, if in the in the source, yeah. If they if they include. Um, our ink bin directive for the sprite editor and the character editor that we pre-process it first and then our end result is kick format assembly yeah but do the same as what you do in your assembler which is have all the bytes 
loaded into the assembler, yeah? Because I thought that I thought that if the power of your your the power of your your program is that you can do ink bin screens four to six, ink bin sprites, all of them, ink ink bin, you know, the character set. And that that the preprocessor of those will then take those files and make them in your in CPS's case, CPS friendly assembler data statements. And what I thought was we could do the same with the kick, so it spits out kick friendly assembler statements. And then we through we we then shove that result through the kick assembler. Yeah, that was that was what I was thinking, yeah. But it means that we'd have to scan the file first for our assembler directives that are unique to CPS and then evaluate those and then at the end result is a ma is a, an assemb assembly file but I don't know I don't know it's 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 hard because I was just trying to make it that we we can use the full functionality of CPS but put it into kick format as well so you like the ink bins in 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 CPS well well you know it was just an idea but it doesn't have to be in this version, all right? It doesn't have to be in this version. Let's get the kick version out there, and then we can add to it, yeah? As I keep saying to all my colleagues at work, let's get the let's get the Morris Miner out there before we start coding the Ferrari. <laughs> cool. So I don't want to delay the release of version four, yeah. All right? Let's get let's get let's get the more. Oh, I, I won't say Morris Minor. Let's get the mini out there, yeah. Let's get the mini out there, and then we'll we'll code it to become more of a Ferrari. Yes, I know. You need to make sure that the mini's running smoothly, yeah. But you're doing an excellent job of testing, mate. I mean, you've found some things that I haven't found. But, to be honest, I'm not using it in anger at the moment. But I will be in the next project because I want to use CPS in the next project. And I want to use version 4. So... Yeah, yeah. Right, so what source? I'm missing some labels here. Ah, yeah, here we go. So, dot label, and we are going... What? Uh, I'm not going to use the ones that are coded there. I'm going to use some of my generic ones. Game constants, where are we? Well, it's not in there either, so it's game storage. Game storage. Right, we'll use temp six. Is that in zero page? No, it's not. That is not in zero page. Right. Right, 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 right. Have I got any zero pages in here? No. Okay. I've got... I must have some zero... Oh, it must be in constants then. Ah, yeah, here. Right. I might use these two. I might use these two. Because I need two zero page locations. So I'll use these two. Right, so. So we're going to call this source. Whoops equals that and what's the other one des dest equals that right so that should solve our some of our, some of our things okay what else what are we doing du -du 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 -du.
Yeah, I, I, I mean that's that's fine, AJ. That's that's fine. Yes, I, I think you should keep them completely separate as well. Um, it's it was just an idea, and and I'm I'm hoping that we'll be able to put it in and say four two four three whenever you know that we start taking some of your features that's in hello, hello. <laughs> mrs osk in the, flesh. in the flesh right um yeah so in you know version 4.2 or 4.3 or whatever that we we take the features of CPS and have a kick version that allows to spit out in kick format, yeah? Whether we do it uh, to start with manually, you know, like when you do export and you've got basic and assembly, maybe we in, in the assembly one, we, we have another function that says kick format because the CPS format is slightly different than kick format and then work on to have the automatic preprocessor and stuff like that. So it's it, it's something to think about, yeah? Yes. It, it 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 I think we need to take we need to take some of the good stuff out of CPFs and into the kick sphere as well. I mean there's another assembler that's coming out that's making big 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 leaps, and that's Retro Assembler. I don't know if you've heard of Retro Assembler, and that's making big inroads as well. People are starting to shout and scream about that. The only reason they're shouting and screaming about that because that assembler does 6502 Z80, um, 8, um, 8, 9, 8, uh, 6809, and a raft of others, other types. And exports to different 8-bit computer types as well. Right, so that is going doing that. Copy man. Loop. Right, that, 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 that. Right, oh, by the way, there's an exclusive in the merch for a limited time only. Hang on, let me fire it up. For a limited time only. You can buy the plank hats. <laughs> so, if you want to buy yourself a baseball cap with the word plank on it, limited, limited time only. Go for it. Oh, I don't think it's... <laughs> well, it, it was asked for, so I've done it. I've done it. It was asked for. Um. Oh, rats. Is it just normally... Oh, it's... In include... Oh, what's it complain about? Oh, it's not... Is it ink bin? No, it's not ink bin. Uh, I've forgotten what it's... Hang on. Import. Oh, I think it's import space. Yeah, it's hash, isn't it? Import. Yep. 
Yeah, that's not liking that. Right, I've forgotten what the binary one I think it's called Ink. Kick. Do, 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 do. Oh, dot import binary. There we go. There we go. That's what we wanted. Right, so this is not called OSK that. This is called that. No, 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 no. Right, so this is... This is setting the VIC chip to 6,000. Right, okay. Show title, and we will take this out, and we'll do that. Right, so I'm a bit OCD about this. Indent. Looks better. Right, let's see if we can get this thing in. So, right. So I need to import it into Maze 101. So we'll stick it on the end. And we'll stick it after the sprite data as well. So hash import um, game title. Gonna say and then we will what we'll do is here we will um, JSR title dot Oi John pay attention to chat Oh excellent Oh, wow. Oh, that could look. That does look good. And Scramble is one of my favourite games. That looks really good. That'll be interesting when it comes out. Right, title dot show title. And then we'll do jump star. So we're just gonna see if it's going to load that screen in. Oh, what happened there? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's not going to work, is it? How big's that file then? Oh, 86k, really? Really?
Oh, no wonder it's not working. Hmm. Right. Eighty six K. That's a bit pants in it. Whoops. What are you making snapshots for? Oh. Would help if I was hitting the right key. Right. Let's see what let's see what we've got here. Where is Right, coming into a disassembly mode, trying to find out where this is stored. Um If I could extract it, I, I wish I know where it was being stored though. Just look at the memory map. No, 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 no. Not you, not you, not you. Ah, here we go. Open. Oh, so he's doing a copy. So we need this bit, don't we? Um... Well, that was a bit of a staller, wasn't it? 86k. It's definitely 86k. Yeah, 86k. Rats. Hmm. How we're gonna? How we're we gonna dis? How we're we gonna disassemble this? Um. Well, that's clear in there. Right, so that's there. Load. Right, okay. Let's let's do a bit of analysis here. So Two nine three two is going to forty four hundred. Two D one A is going to D eight hundred. Okay. There was another one here. Here, this fella. Let's put a break point there. Right. Load. Okay. That's loading from 6,000 and storing in 6,000. That's uh, Let's see what that's doing really. Okay. 
Um, let's break there. F11. So what's it doing? Right, that's 40. 6140. 6180. Okay. So it's clearing out. Okay. Ah, oh, here we go. Right, so O nine F two is going to six thousand. Okay, let's let's uh, let's 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 run it all the way through. Oh, got the break point in there, haven't I? Right, go. Right, so that finished at 2D1A. Right, so that to that, and that and that's finished. At 3102. Which then went to 3102. Okay. And then this one went to 2932 okay so that to 2932 right okay right 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 we're going to do some exporting Gonna do some exporting now. We sh we should be able to export th this entire thing. So I need to export from 09 F2 to 3102. Right, let's load this invoice. Oh, just give me the game. Where's the game? There. Right, monitor. Right, so, um, save. What do we call it? OSK Maze 2 to default, and we are going to be saving from 09F2. Two, 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 three, one, o, oh, two. Let me just add a bit more to that. Three, two, o, oh, two. Oh, right, okay. Um, where's that saving to? Oops. Yeah, save. Oh, the, the retro gaming. Hang on.
What's that? Whoa! Okay, come here. It's all right. It's all right. I got the wheel stuck on the mat. <laughs> Sorry. That. It's got loads of stuff in there to. It's got loads of stuff in there to um, convert a Raspberry Pi into a cabinet or uh, Pi 400 into a retro machine. Right, if the device is zero, the file is written to the file system, which is what I want. Right, okay, so. Maybe I need to tell it where to put it. Okay, uh, C column backslash temp. Let's put it there, right. Uh, dot bin. Aha! Aha! Did it put it in there? What do I call it? OSK Maze 2. C backslash temp. Yeah, I'm in there now. Why can't I see it? M N O uh, because I don't know where letters run. <sighs> right, there we go. So I've ex hopefully that's exported the data. So we've got a new file. There we are. OSK maze two bin. Yeah. Right. Let's put that in here. And let's see if we get anything now, because I think it's going to be no, <laughs> no, right. Right, let's have a look at the bike dump. Well, there it is. Well, there's a lot of zeros in there. Oh, I wish Stacy was here. He could re export it to us dead easy. Is Stacy on? That must, so there's got to be screen stuff in there. Let's run it again in C64 debugger. Let's just make sure we've got the right things going on. So I'm gonna, I'm going to pause it before it does anything. So we're gonna pause it there right reload right so it's cleaning out it's cleaning out 6,000 um, so it's loading like I say 2932 into 4,000 and 2d1a into d800 okay and then 09f2 into 6000 and OA32 into 6040. So it's copying, it's copying hex 40 all the time. Right, so let's look at 09F2. What data is in 09F2? F1. Right, so F2 is zero, so there's lots of zeros. 
And we've got that. So we've got two two bytes in there that we don't need. So um, where's the kick assembler thing? So we need to skip some bytes. Can we skip bytes? Imports 200 bytes starting from the position. Ah, got you. Right, we'll do e import C64. Oh no, we'll put two. Right, skips two bytes, okay. Skips two bytes, right. Do it again. Right, okay. Right, so we've skipped the two bytes. Okay. Now. So, I think the screen's first. As this is put to the screen... This is put the screen data first. No, this put the char data first. But here, O nine F two is going into the bitmap. And then O nine three two is right. Okay, so we've. Screen, right, so, okay, screen data. That's not 8,000 though, is it? Oh, this may be a lost cause. Where's Stacy? Because that there's no way there's no way we're loading eight thousand bytes it eight thousand bytes or are we? A thirty two which is there. Okay. Six thousand. Okay, F eleven. Let's see what we're doing. So the screen's set to forty four hundred. The character set is at six thousand, and the bitmap set to six thousand. Are we in bitmap mode? Yes, we are. Okay. Let's work this out then. So we're talking two nine three two minus O nine. Oh, what am I doing? Cancel. 2932 minus. Cancel. Thank you. 2932 minus 09F2. 8,000 bytes. Right, okay. Right, okay. So that's right. 
So this is right. So we need to figure out why it's not working. Maybe I'm not setting it right. Um, am I setting it right? Uh, da, da, da. Changing the Vic back to that. Setting the screen to 6,000. Okay, let's put a break point in. Let's find out what's going on. Hey? What's up? Music's no good in the Why? so close so close okay So close. I mean, what's it doing? Let's see what we can figure out. What's it? Oh, go. That is. Have I still got the original one open? No. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's get the original one open. We're sort of there, aren't we? But we're at a sink. Okay, so what is what is it doing? Yeah. Yeah, I let's let's load it back up in um C sixty four debugger. So it's loading the screen. I 
and I saved it to 30 I saved it to um, 32 just to be safe it's this it's doing it's no oh, it's doing a split copy Oh, it's doing a split copy. But then it's adding 40. Oh, hang on. 43, that's there. So it's updating that. Then it does 44, which just does up that. Then it's 46, which is all oh, that there. So it's adding 40 every time. So that would have been... But how can that be 80? That's what I don't understand. Let's, let's, let's put a break point and run it from there. Reload. Right, let's see what's going on. Now, I'm not bothered about that. That's the screen. This is the one I'm bothered about. Right, so it's doing load 4C, load E, load 094C. 094C is... B is there. So that's 40. Add it with 09EE. -E. Oh, which is here. 09EE. -E. Which is zero anyway. Right, so it runs through. Oh, 40, so it's, right, let's put a break point there to find out what it's doing. Right, so it's done the cycle. So it loads 48, adds 40 to it, and stores it. So it comes 0932. Okay. And then it goes B. So it goes 0932 and then OB32. Oh, right, okay. It's interlaced. Right, it's interlaced. Okay. So we need to change the way our title copies the data. So it's this, the copy memory. Where's the CPS code for this? It was just, um, it was, it was just something I knocked together. Um, but hang on, I'll put it in Discord. Now, a bit is thankful. Let me just put in Discord, mate. Right, it's coming your way now. There you go. Should have it. Yeah? I think that's got all the code in it. Yeah, that's got my project in there. 
So it's doing a, it's it's oh it's doing a it's doing a it's doing a double stack. Right. Okay. So it's doing a, it's it's copying and it's offsetting. Right. So it's offsetting 140. Now that rings a bell. That does ring a bell. Right, so we'll do what we'll do is we'll we'll Right, so um self-modifying code here we come. Right, so we need, we need, we need, we need uh, a double, a double thingy. So, um, so we're going to have to use um, somewhat modification code modification so we're going to need two of these so load code store code load code store code so we'll call this um, phase one load. Phase one save. Phase two load. Phase to save. Right, so when we come in, we know that the source, the source is going, the, 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 the des source and the destination is where we're starting, yeah? So, if we load um, SRC and store it in uh, phase one load, load src src plus one store it in phase load plus one and then load destination and that goes into save Right. Then we'll take the phase one. Then we'll take the phase one. So CLC phase one add 40. Store it in phase one. Then load phase. Store it in save. Load phase one. No, it's phase two, isn't it? Phase two load. That's it. Get myself all mixed up. Um, phase one, store it in there, and we add O one. Uh, 
and we'll do that for the save as well save 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 Ooh. Hey FaZe, um, yeah the dogs are okay, the pain up the backside at the moment, but they're okay. Nico's guarding the stairs as usual. Um, we haven't had, we haven't had an incident. Um, he's still a little bit wobbly. Oh, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil, and he turns up, lot. Hey, mate. Been talking about you. You guarding the stairs again. Hmm? You guarding the stairs again. All right. Can I carry on now? Have I got your permission? All right, then. Go on then. Right, so they they then loop through. They then loop through the offset and they they do a DX. Well, we can do that. So we'll do X. X, 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 D, E, X. Right, what else are they doing? Uh, so then they're doing the add to both of them. Right. So we'll do the same thing. So that's the first one. Phase one, phase one, phase one, phase one, phase one. Copy that. Phase two. What else? What else? I and Y. CPY O nine O nine E nine O nine E nine nine five six seven eight nine so hash nineteen. So we'll we'll hard code it. We'll hard code it. <laughs> I'm not doing all this for nothing. We'll hard code it. So, so we'll get rid of that. I N Y C P Y hash dollar one nine branch if not equal to loop, which is back here. So Right, so we're going back to looper, looper. Right, so when we are copying, this is the char memory. This is the one. So it's not copy mem2, it's copy... That's copy mem2, isn't it? That.
Oh, that's copying it to 4,000. So that's that's the bitmap copy. That's just the normal one. Oh no. That one's the normal one. Okay, let's see what this does. Oh, we are getting there, we're getting there. Bitmaps at 4,000, character sets at 4,000, the screens at 6,000. Nico, is that you? Are you barking? Come here. What are you barking at? Hey? What are you barking at? Why? Right, lie down. Lie down, mate. Come on, lie down. Right. So. Right, I'm going to turn off the screen copy because I think that's confusing matters. So let's just not do that and not do that. Right. Um, have I got a clear screen up here? Yes. Let's do that first. Okay. That does that bitmap look right? It doesn't look right to me. I think it's off. Okay, let's um, reload this. Right, so 09F2. 09F2 and OA32. That's definitely 140, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely 140. Right. So let's put a break point in ours which is here
Right, so we're looking down here. So we're set it to code. So we should have, if we do it, F10 store. Oh. Load again. I must have pressed F11. Right, F. Right, here we go. F10, right. Oh, it's F1. Thirty-one F one. Okay. Let's do it in C thousand. Four thousand. Three one. Now that's wrong. That's wrong. Or is it? But then again, it could be right. That's not right. Because I'm just overwriting what I've just done. This is troublesome. Stacy, are you on yet? That's what it's meant to look like. Let's put some breakpoints in here. So that's the screen. here right control let's go figure this out 09 f2 put a break point there 09 f2 oa32 so they're the starting points right f11 so it runs through so then it's going to update those values so that goes to ob32 so we're adding one we're adding 140. Yeah. Oh, it's at four. It's 04. 6,000. Oh, right. Okay. Hang on. I'm trying. Right. We we're trying to. Um we're trying to um, add something to the maze game, All right? I'm just trying to work it out. So, oh, all oh, right. So it's only forty. It's only forty, not one forty. Okay. Right. So let me change that. So we're not doing that. 
We're only adding 40 to stage 2. Okay. And we're only adding 40. Right, okay, hang on. Let's unrem that and do that. Right, uh, is my breakpoint still there? Yes, it is. Right, control F6. Let's see if it looks right now. Oh. Right, so it's these code values here. We've got to get make sure they start off right. Okay. Okay. That looks right. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Right, okay, so 140 between the loads, but that's strange. Because surely that would be overwriting. Really? Let's go 6,000, let's see what it's actually doing. Right, 6,000, there it is. See what it's actually doing. It's re it's writing over itself, isn't it? How many times has that done that? So here we go, we get to the top. And then we're off again. Is that, that's reading from, oh, here we go. So we'll see if that line gets overwritten. Well, that's weird. It's doing it twice. Why is it overwriting the same memory twice?
That's weird. It's overwriting the same memory twice. Oh, Stacy, where are you? We need this exporting. I mean, what size is that? That bin file is too way too big. Let's have a look at it. Oh, I don't know what this export is. It's strange how it's um, it's copying over itself. Load. Come on, load. So it's loading at nine F two, storing it in six thousand. Then it's loading at um, O A three two and storing it at forty. So when it's de when it's de decrementing. It's going to overwrite those that 40 bytes. Why? Why why have they done that? That is just not that's just wrong. So the save is still Um, so this is still that, not that. The load is still that. Right, so we're looking at this block here, right? 3F1, 4,000. Oh, man. My saviour. Dude. We need some help. Remember this? Remember this? Yes, I do mean you. Remember this? Ha, can you export this into a C64 friendly version? Because the bin file you sent me is 85k. And I thought that the files weren't that big. I've, I, this is the PRG I'm loading. I've tried to export. I've tried to export, uh, extract the data. But does the does the your pack does that program export it as a as a a, a bin file that is not 85k long? It should be at the most 10. Yeah, the PRG is only 10. I just need the bin format so I can. We spent what an hour trying to decipher the PRG program so I could figure it out. <laughs> In fact, it's coming up to two hours. <laughs> Please save us. I'm trying to add this to the maze game.
Because all I'm getting... Because this is all I'm getting. You ready? Here we go. That's all I'm getting. It's there, but I just can't get it to... I just can't get it to put on the screen. I don't know if I've extracted the data. Yeah, I don't know if I've extracted the data properly or what. So all I need is a, a bin file that is structured in this format. Yeah, because I'm I've used a, an exist. I used this. I, I'm not too sure if it was you that did this for me. Did you do this? That. Well, you sent me a file that was called OSK Project OSK Project C64 Multi Dot Bin that had all the data in it. You know, eight, which was not very big. Yeah, am I am I um, pointing you in the right direction? All right, then. See. Our collect, <laughs> our our collective Stacy. Where are you? Has finally paid off. So if that's right, we can put this back to how it was, like that. And then if, hopefully, hopefully it will work. Right. Let's get. <laughs> let's try part two. <laughs> <laughs> Which was trying to figure out how to um, how to make this um, so we can uh, have the user select the difficulty without doing the um, these um, assembler directives. So there's going to be a lot of work here, a lot of work. So let's see, so we are going to need to have a, another storage variable. So, um, put it here. So difficulty. So we'll use that game storage dot difficulty to um, define what the, what is going to happen, like here, yeah. So if if it's hard, then it does this. Right. So I need some constants then. So let's add some constants. <sighs> Don't know where it came from, where they got that from. Well, come. Easy. Where are you getting that from? Where are you getting that from? I have no idea. Right. So that's going to be one. That can be two. And that can be four. So effectively, it's going to be this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. That. So 
So it's going to be effectively that. So we can use and statements to um, work it all out. So here, we're going to load storage. Difficulty. And it with diff hard branch if not equal to by by pass hard which should come down here so we'll leave them in but that's what we're looking at yeah so we load the difficulty and it if it's not equal then we're not doing it right so here like in medium we do the same thing but this time it's medium bypass medium Rem that out, rem that out. Okay. Now that's irrelevant because it's not it's it's not rem it's remmed out, so we'll permanently rem it out. Right, this is hard, so let's get a split screen going. Here we go. Get rid of that and that. This is medium, so we've got the medium already here, so we'll just copy that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh no, mate, no. Hopefully she's not, she'll be all right. Triple jabbed and all that jazz, yeah? See, this is in, and I don't think we need this either, because it's been taken out. Right, so we just got to find all the places where we've got these directives. So, let's start with game 3D. Any in there. In fact, no results. No results. Right, okay, so there's nothing in there. So, game constants, yeah, yeah, here we go. Uh, oh, this is going to be tricky. Um, yes, that's going to be tricky. Um, how are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? That's got to be in the timer. So 
It's got to be in the timer. Right, let's have a look in the timer. Let's see if we can put this in the timer. So it's the location. Here we go. It's here. So it's the time of location. So, um, uh, right, then we're going to have to call this, um, Re give this hard. Whoops. Hard. Hi, Twitch. Right, and so here we're going to have to load storage and it with hash diff hard branch if not equal to display hard location plus so if it's not equal that means it's hard if it is equal to zero that means it's easy and so comes here so then we can do then this here and literally copy the whole thing again and put that there But this time we are location hard. And location color hard. Display timer, load the difficulty and it with hard if it's not equal to zero then that means it's the hard so we can get rid of this now and that and that right so that's sorted that out come on should be able to do it now there we go. Right, next on the list. Um, so we've done game constants. Right. Next on the list. Game maze. Ooh, this could be... Let's see if we can... F no results for hard. No results for easy. Okay. In fact, in fact, look for hash if. Here we go. Debug. 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 Right. I'm happy. Right. Game maze. We're okay. Game window. Hash if. Debug only. Right. Okay. So that's great. Player. Hash if. How many? Eight. Here we go. Right. So... All right, okay. Ooh. That's else that do Oh, right, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Um Right, okay, so here we need to look we need to test for the the hard 
I need to test for hard difficulty. So, and if it's not equal to, oh, hang on. Oh, have I done this wrong again? Oh, I have. I've done this wrong again. Done this wrong again. Right, bypass to hard, which is here. So we are jumping to update trail. So we are jumping to update trail. Dear, oh, that's going to be a bit more troublesome as well. Let's sort out my problem first, which is in here. That's doing my editing now. Now I've done that and I've copied and pasted it into places. Low difficulty and it with hard. If it's equal to zero, then it's not hard. <sighs> Bypass hard, equal to zero. Oh, John. Right, so I did game constants, didn't we? Oh, it's timer. It was in the timer, wasn't it? Right, and it branch if not equal to zero. That is right. That is right. Did I put it anywhere else? I don't think I did. Okay, let's continue. Right, so here, right, so we need to grab this, put it there, or Right, if it's equal to zero, then it's pa bypass to easy. So bypass to easy is at this point here. Right. Then Inside, we've got another one where we're testing for just that. 
And bypass. Bypass to easy. In fact, bypass to no need to move. So we can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. This is going to be harder than I thought. This is going to be harder than I thought. Right. I think we need to change the whole mechanics of this. So, um, yeah, right, easy mode and hard mode, easy mode and medium mode are exactly the same. So, let's do this. So, we're gonna have to change the way this works altogether. Storage. So basically, we're going to copy this. Right, and it would branch if equal to bypass to not hard. We'll put that there. Right, so if it's hard, then jump uh, to uh, the, 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 the jump to evaluate hard controls. Here we go. So, in fact, we'll call this evaluate easy and medium controls. We'll give it a proper name. Right. So easy and medium. So we're going to grab that. We're going to paste that there. We're going to grab that. Paste that there. So this is medium and easy. Paste that. There, update trail. Here, this is update trail. In fact, I'm going to get a second copy. 
No, that's not working. There we go. Right, so update trail. So that's where we're going. This is where we're coming from. So update trail goes there, but it doesn't need to really go there. So if medium and hard Oh, I've put it in the wrong place, haven't I? We're supposed to be here. Let's get this out of the way. It's supposed to be here. Right. Incorrect key press. Incorrect key press. Grab that then. Right. <laughs> we're back we're back to rights now okay hit a so then we key down we're looking at key down we're looking for key down here we go key down Grab that as well. Don't need that. Key right. Full stop, so we want that. Key left is this. Let's get rid of that. Right, so um, let's get this right. So, if it's easier, hard, uh, easier, medium, A goes up. And then we update the trail. So we need to update the trail. So we've done all the... Right, so we've done all the things. So we can do the test here. So basically we're saying load it, but if it's medium, 
branch is equal to not medium because if it's on easy we don't we don't get rid of the um, we don't get rid of the tail the the array yeah so if it's if it's medium I mean if it's e equal to zero which means it's not set we bypass it if it is set then we do the we do the trail update And we do that as well. Just mark that off. Right, what else is the So we've done key down. So we've done key down. That uh, key up. Done key down, right, left, update trail test for medium and does the queue on the medium, right. I think that was it. Right, so what's that? So that's only in hard mode, okay. Now it's saying player moved. Yeah, player moved. So we jump into player moved. Okay. Is that it? Is that done it? Right. So that looks like it, that's the easy one. So we'll do the hard one now. So we do it all over again. Start at the top. Grab this little lot. Evaluate up key. So we need to go down to here.
Right. Evaluate the up key. Right, if it's hard, then it's this. So this is what's doing. In fact, it's all of this. doing the update trail which is here and it's exactly the same as before but it only did that it didn't do anything else and then jumped play a move key down which it doesn't do anything on key down in hard mode, but we'll put the label in anyway. But what it does do is this. Does that and that. then it does this it does the evaluation of the map doesn't it so we grab that grab that grab that to there so it does that just the timers player moved is exactly the same as before but show new player position I don't think we do that do we no Okay. Um, that sorts that out. Right, so, um, does the player move, then just does an RTS, okay. And that's it, so we don't need the rest of this stuff now. But I am not going to get rid of it just yet, I am going to... Bring it out. No need to remove. Uh, ba -ba -ba.
that. That come here. Right. So how many more of these have we got? None. Right. So that's game player done. Oh, this is going to be fun if we start this off. Game sprite. Nothing. Storage. Nothing. Timer. Nothing. Nothing in there. Game utility. Anything in there. It's just the debugger. Yeah. IO constants, nothing in there. LibQ, nothing in there. We've done them all. Right. That's it. That's it. Right. So we need to initialize. We need to initialize our thing so um, let's do it here LDA hash diff easy store it in storage dot difficulty right get rid of that get rid of that Right, have I got any breaks? Oh, that's a good question. None, good. Right, let's see. Ooh. Uh, where's that? 101, 30, 126, 101. Oh, game controls, show, it's in medium mode, okay. So where's that then? There. Oh, it was before the um, purple, wasn't it? Okay. So we're going to easy, easy, which is here. Because that's the hard, it was here. Right, so we'll just do that. So let's just check, make sure we've got it right. Right here, so he does the move. Yeah. All right, let's try that again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Distance is too far. Game player 155. Game player. Oh, line eighty two. All oh, right, okay. Evaluate map key. Is that in? Are we in the hard? No, we're not. So that sh should not be going there. Look in the remmed out code. Uh, 
That should be renamed to Player Moved. Line 82. Now, we need to send that back. We need to send that back to here. Because it's not a valid key. If it's not a comma, that's it. Send it back. Invalid key press. Right. F6. Oh, you're joking. What now? Um, distance is too far again. Uh, line 100. Line one hundred, where is it gone? Oh it's in the it's in the um trail, isn't it? It's in the update trail. Here, that's update trail, no need to remove. Right, so no need to remove is after black, that's here. Right, let's just check the hard one as well, because that has the same thing. No need to remove, which is there. Right, okay. Right, try again. Oh, we are. Right, so we should be in easy mode. And we are. Right, so that's easy mode, it seems to be working. Right, let's change it to... Right, let's change it to medium. Right. Well, medium mode's working. And the tail is disappearing. Right, let's try hard mode then. Okay, A, A, turn, go back, turn, 
Right, hard mode's working. Right. Okay, nice. <laughs> right, so we've now we've now converted it from direct assembler directives now to be in a software state. So we have control over the software. So we can now, if we, when the time's getting on, and I promised I wouldn't be on here long. Um, Stacy, are you still there? Are you still there, Stacy? Because, um, have you got the export yet? Because if not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've, I've managed, I've done what stage one, which was to software set this. Now, in the next stream, it, well, in the next next time, I was right. We should be able to, we should be able to remove all this. I'm gonna remove all this anyway. Right. So let's let's get rid of all this if stuff. So we're gonna do a global search. We're gonna go ash if. Right, get rid of that. So we don't need that, so get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Right, next, we need that, we need them, we need that here, right. So I'm gonna get rid of all that. Cos. It's done. Same with this 3D, 3D controls. Don't need that anymore. Right. Maze. So we've got all this stuff here. So got rid of that. Um. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that, bring that back. Don't need that. Bring that back, get rid of that. Right, that's it. So 3D game, I've seen that somewhere. Right, so we don't need that because that's the direction. That's our debug raster lines. We're not doing that anymore. Well, in fact, maybe we should. Um. I did notice though something. Let's put it in easy mode. Is the um, the resolution stays on the screen? So um, what we need to do is we solve the maze.
and then we need to clear the screen. Need to clear the screen. So we need to, because we're testing for, we're testing for the hard here. So this is hard setup. This one is medium setup. And maybe we need one for easy. where we redraw the screen um, redraw on the screen that's in player isn't it maze draw Maze draw, maze draw maze. Okay, has that got the trace in? <laughs> Still location going up. Da -da -da -da. Check, solve maze, update 3D maze, initialize, draw maze, here we go. Ah, right, okay, so draw maze shows the, um, shows the place, so, How are we going to do this? It makes it red. Maybe that's what we need to do. maybe what we need to do right let's see if that gets rid of the purple it did except for that bit Oh, and it got rid of the start finish as well. Um, maybe we need to do that again. Right, see if it does it. Yeah. Why did it leave a bit of the purple behind? That's black. Why did it leave a bit of the purple behind? Tra oh. Oh, right. Okay.
That's why. That looked really easy, that did. Ooh. And straight away, I came to a dead end. Sure, that purple line went down here. Ooh, getting too excited then. There we go, sorted. Okay. Um. Initialized player. That's. That. In fact, all this lot needs to go here. better that's better right so we've got a lot of different sections now so what we need to do is we need to when Stacy's worked his magic and um, sent me the new title screen so basically, it's going to look like so. Oh, it's not going to look like that. Hey, Proton. So it's going to look like that. So... When Stacy when Stacy's um, redone it and sent it us, we're going to load this as the title screen of the game. Yeah, so that'll load up, and then the next thing the the next thing is we're going to ask them what difficulty level, and we're going to have easy, medium, and hard as options. So that's that's what we'll do in the next stream, where we we ask the user. Um, what difficulty they want to play under. Now we've changed it from being an assembly assembly directive to being software driven now. So here, so it's all software driven now. We can do that. We can ask the user what they want to do. Um, do they want to play hard? Do they want to play easy? Or do they want to be normal? All right. So it's a pity that the first hour was trying to figure out that title screen and never worked. But I'm... Um, Stacy, Miss Monsignor Stacy will get that sorted, and we'll put that in in the next stream, hopefully, as well as the um, the, the the question to the user: What difficulty do you want? All right. Well, I promised it wouldn't be a long stream because the last one was like four hours, and and we're top it coming up to three hours, so. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing another one before Christmas. I'll let you know because I'm going to take some time off. And um, and I'll see. Well, I might I might do another one, especially if Stacy comes back with the title screen. I might do another one. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me. And I will see you in the next stream. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.